Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm doing a speed test between my Samsung Galaxy J7. This is the 2015 version. And this one here is my Samsung Galaxy J5 2016 version. And what I'm gonna be doing is running the Antutu test, which I am running right now. And then after I see the scores and everything, then I'm gonna do another speed test using Geekbench 4. So if you guys have any of these phones, uh, if you guys would comment below, I'd be interested to see you know what you score on these. Just give me your um, your model number and your phone and tell me what you scored on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to play this and also take note that the uh, J7 here, like I said, is the 2015 version and is running the Snap, it has a um, Snapdragon 615 processor. And this J5 here, 2016 version has a Snapdragon 410 processor and take note if you guys are familiar with the samsung galaxy s7 that has a snapdragon 820 uh, processor but i'm using that one to record this video right now so i'm going to go ahead and fast forward and we'll get to the end of the antutu and then we'll move on to the geekbench 4. Okay, so for this and 2 2 test, you can see that my J7 has a score of like 34, about 34,900 versus my J5 2016 version has uh, just about 28,300. And you can see the model number here too. This is the, uh, the J5 here is the SM-J5108. And on the J7 here is SM-J700P. Now let's go ahead and do a test on the Geekbench 4. And you can see here the J7, I'm running a Android 6.0.1, that is Marshmallow, and it looks like the, Andro the J5 here is running Android 5.1.1, which is Lollipop. So let me go ahead and run these two tests. All right, so the Geekbench 4 test is done, and you can see here on the J7, we have a single core score of 511, and on the J5 here, we have 525, and multi-core, we have 1435 here and 1306 here. And just want to see what it looks like in the single core. Let's see. So it says up here, wow, look at that. The uh, top score looks like it's the Samsung Galaxy S5. But this is the Exynos processor. Uh, like I said, I was recording off my S7, but I don't have the Exynos processor. I have the actual, um, it's the Snapdragon 820. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's down here. Here's my Snapdragon 820 on the S7, that's what it scores. Anyways, you can see again, single core, 511 here, 525 here, and multi-core, 1435 here, and 1306 here. And if you guys have any of these phones and you're running any of these tests, again, let me know what your scores are. Make sure you put the model number in. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.